video, we turn this into this. guys this is kind of just an idea out of nowhere that we just came up with um we have all these engine parts that we've kind of accumulated over just working on stuff and building stuff this was from the 150 dollars off-road go-kart this is the gx200 that was originally on spudnik and it's been an absolute lemon the whole time we've owned it but we're going to try to do some like frankensteining with predator engines to see if we can make one that's kind of cool so we have all these parts we'd like to see if we could use like the mitsubishi head or something because there's probably maybe some different airflow maybe we'll make a different sounding predator we have a tillotson flywheel we'll see if that fits um and then we have like a flat top piston and stuff like that we're just going to install that we've had lying around so this should be a fun little video i think the first thing we're going to do is start assembling the bottom end of this engine and then we'll just try to figure out the heads and all everything else from these two all right so we're out of pistons so we're doing this trailer park style. No. <laughs> All right. Some piston from some engine going in. If you came to this video to watch like how to correctly install one of these, I'm afraid you might not be in the right place. All right, so we got the rod bolts torqued down, and our first test is to see if this Tillotson flywheel fits. Um, we've actually done a couple of Tillotson builds uh, with El Tigre and with the race bike. Those will be upcoming video series. Um, so let's see if it fits. It seems like the taper's the same. Yeah, so that fits on perfectly, actually. So th these are a lot less likely to explode under, like, we're not going to be putting like a, a big old cam in this or anything like that, so we don't really have to worry about it. But still, this will be an upgrade. There's a lot, there's a lot more going on with these as opposed to stock Predator ones, so it's definitely an upgrade. Okay, that's pretty good. Everything fits up on there all nice. We'll have to, we'll probably, we'll definitely get this torque down the spec, but for now it'll hold together. Uh, so I think what we're going to do now is we don't have a side cover. I don't know where it went off to, but we have a side cover here. Uh, and I think we're going to take out part of this GX200 and then definitely use the side cover, but we might also use a cam. Maybe Honda's got something different going on with the cam. So we have a stock 212 cam right there, so we'll be able to compare. All right, so this is the Predator cam, and then this is the GX200 cam. Really no visible differences. This one just looks a little cleaner, and it's a Honda part, so it's probably a little bit higher quality. So we're gonna toss that in right now. Well, the cam that was originally on Spudnik now is new life. Along with the side cover, actually we'll slap that on right now. This is an interesting engine build, guys. <laughs> interesting? Yeah. Hey, but honestly, like, all of the, like, these are all just basket cases, so if we can put something together and make something out of nothing, might as well. So now we're finally turning into the Mitsubishi. Uh, by the looks of it, everything in here is pretty much just GX200 and Predator, so that shouldn't be that big of a deal. Holy cow, this thing's crusty. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, now we're just tearing this bad boy apart. Uh, I don't know if the head's gonna fit because it is very, very different. Yeah, it looks weird. It, it, it'd be really cool if this fit though, because I've really, I haven't seen many of these Mitsubishi engines. I've seen, I mean, I've seen some Subarus and stuff like that, but like, I don't know, some lift fans, stuff like that, you know. Mitsubishis aren't too common at least, so this would be interesting. Okay. Holy cow! <laughs> that is rad! That's cool. I don't know if it's gonna fit our Predator though. It might. Dang. 
That's sick. Whoa. Holy cow. That's some beefy valve train right there. <laughs> All right, so in order to get the head off, we gotta take this valve train out of here. This is like probably one of the coolest setups I've ever seen. I mean, it's, you adjust the valve lash here, and then there's the springs. It's kind of a hemi design, but it is really cool. I really hope this fits on the Predator. That would be really cool. Okay guys, so there that goes. Wow, these, okay, those are sick. They're like chrome, the, uh, the um, push rods. They might line up. Oh. Homemade impact. This is actually really exciting. I'm glad y'all are able to come along on this journey. Okay, Mitsubishi is where it's at. All grade eight hardware. Chrome push rods. Chrome push rods. Good 18 Weird hemi. This, this, <laughs> this reminds me of Tillotson heads. It's pretty cool. The only problem is there's some kind of wacky exhaust and intake flange going on here. It's kind of just like, I don't know, I actually think a Makuni would bolt straight up to that without an adapter. Check out that platinum gas tank cap. Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Okay, this is like, oh, I don't know. Slap it on. It's, oh, it's similar, it's similar, but also very different. We might have some we might have some accidental high compre compression things going on. Uh, uh, oh wait, uh -huh. like it's kind of it's very uh, similar. All right, let's see. All right, let's um let's see if the let's put a I believe if we put a two twelve head gasket on. How would how would one now? <laughs> I, I think if we have a two twelve head gasket, used of course. It'd be a Christmas miracle if this thing ran. That'd be. I'm in. The dowel pins are different sizes. Oh, and it's there's two big. on the bottom there, and this is diagonal. Oh wait, can't you just move these? Maybe not. Oh, the gasket you can't. Take them out. But I think you can. Well, the problem is these are different sizes. Oh. Yeah. What I care about is if the holes line up. This is ideal. Holes line up. <laughs> okay, no dowels? No, uh... Uh, <laughs> uh, no dowels is not my favorite plan. Let's try, let's try. <laughs> can't wait till the head's like. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till we're breathing fire out of the, out of the head gasket. All right, uh, yeah. So with a little bit of persuasion, we have the Mitsubishi head on here. Um, God only knows if it's gonna make compression, but we're gonna give it a shot. I'm just gonna set the valve lash to kind of loose. It's actually pretty loose right now. Oh wait, the, okay. <laughs> the um, push rods aren't even in it, so we gotta put those in. That's a screwdriver. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I have a winner. <laughs> Believe it or not, we didn't really film a lot of this because we were kind of sketched out because the head gaskets are quite different actually. And I mean, it actually makes a lot of compression. I set the valve lash manually. Um, this is some sweet valve train and it's a very cool designed head. The intake and exhaust runners are only about this long. So I feel like this, this could actually be really efficient on a larger bore cylinder with a bigger carburetor on it. So now we're gonna do is we're just gonna hook up the exhaust. Um, Actually, this round, this is like the same exact size as a Go Power Sports Makuni adapter. So I feel like if we remove these studs and get a Makuni, we can just bolt it straight to that. And then we have the stock muffler that we're just gonna put on for now. So I guess I'll bolt the coil up, put the valve cover on, and then we'll, we'll be able to crank it over by hand and then spray some starter fluid in it and see if we can get it to come to life. Okay, so we got this heinous muffler on and the side cover on, and we're gonna see what happens. Look at that muffler. Yeah. Get some starter fluid in there. Ready? Hey! We got a runner. We got a runner, boys. Y'all do one more? Yeah, let's do another one. Holy cow! Yep. Let's see what she did. Hey! Yeah. That's promising. That's actually really, it feels solid and like it feels pretty balanced. It has oil in it, by the way. 
All right guys, so we got the GX200 side cover. We actually painted this in one of our earliest videos. I tell y'all to go watch it, but the audio is so bad, you probably even, you shouldn't. <laughs> so, um, we mounted this carburetor here. I used, so you know how in Predators, sandwiching the intake port and where the carburetor goes, there's those plastic things. I basically like put two of those on top of each other and I cut them out to fit. Like right in here, you can kind of see them stacked together. Cause this head isn't really friendly for this carburetor, but the ports line up, so we're gonna do that. It's at a little bit of an angle, so we'll have to see. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bolt on our side cover here. This is a funky looking engine. <laughs> but, I mean, hey, if this thing runs, that'd be, a, that'd be actually insane. But it should sound pretty cool. It's fun doing stuff like this. All right, let's put her on our engine stand. Okay, so since the uh, Honda has like a little spacer on it, we just need the uh, little starter cup thing to switch over. I don't know why we're messing around with this stuff if we could, you know, build our own engines or whatever, but hey, it's fun. I think we've got a little ATV we might throw this on. I think it'll be a fun little build. All right guys, so believe it or not, we got that engine to run. We're super happy with how it turned out. Uh, we didn't use any Go Power Sports parts in this video, but thank you Go Power Sports. Um, we used actually Tillotson parts from the engines they gave us, so that's sweet. Be sure to check it out, 10 horsepower right out the box, pretty cool, especially for 212 stock class racing. So, thank you guys for watching, and we're actually gonna do kind of a budget build. We haven't done it in a while, but we got this free ATV here. You can see we got a Go Fire Sports engine plate welded on there, and then it's gonna meet our <laughs> dumpster fire engine. So, see you next time. Give it a thumbs up. Hope you like the in the middle of the week uploads. If we have kind of extra videos like this, I think we're gonna toss them up now. So, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. See you next time. Oh,